Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where today as you can see from the title and the thumbnail we are back on our engineered account and today we're going to be having a lot of fun. Now before I get into this you may have noticed my base is a little out of order because you can see there are a lot of trunks, trees and bushes within the base and also in gen box which sadly I cannot remove neither one of them because I basically do not have enough elixir. Check it out I've got 800 elixir in total. Now let's Let's just go ahead and collect the rest of the elixir and see how much loot we're gonna get in total so just look at the 800 elixir we have so let's collect the loot and we've got a total of a hundred thousand now so that's pretty good and uh, what about the gold 17,000 and now 117,000 and now the loot card which is a lot of loot so now we basically have almost 500,000 of each which is a pretty decent amount of loot now it seems like we also have a little loot in the treasury that is about 50,000 so that is pretty good and let's go ahead and remove a couple of trunks and trees because why not we wouldn't want a nice and clean base and now let's get ourselves into a couple of attacks so let me just check out what attack strategy i have it seems like i have the joy bunch event strategy but i never got to actually use it so that is a little unfortunate but that is okay we also have one of every spell which is really interesting so we're going to remove a few more trees and then we are going to get ourselves into the battlefield and see if we can actually get a couple of victories so let's go ahead and do that now let me know down below in in the comment section guys would you love to see me actually upgrade the ship and actually get the builder base and get a double cannon over in the engineered account let me know down below in the comment section if you'd like to see that because i'd be really really interested I'd, i've asked you before but no one has actually answered but what is this base what does it say i can't exactly read it i think it says naruto i'm quite sure it does naruto as what does it say there as i don't know okay so i think it says naruto as a B G K U C O K U. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't watch Naruto, you guys. So if you guys do watch Naruto, then please be sure to let me know down below in the comment section what this base actually says. And you know what? Because of the sake of it, we're just gonna go ahead and attack this base. So we are just going to go ahead and spawn in all of our giants and all of our bobs and archers. See if we can do some damage, some good amount of damage. And we are gonna drop in all of our spells and all of our wall breakers. See if we can actually kill these walls, these Naruto walls. So let's drop in. A couple of raid spawns. I don't really know what Naruto is all about. So if you guys do watch Naruto, if you've ever seen it, then let me know down below in the comment section what is it about. I think it's an anime. You guys, if I've got this totally wrong, then please do not start hating on me just because I haven't watched it. I just literally don't know anything about it. All I know is a couple of series I watch, which are basically they have nothing to do with something like this. So basically, if you know anything about that, if you know what this text actually says, basically this on the bottom because. I think it says Naruto PS and then something down below right here which I don't really know what it says then please be sure to let me know down below in the comment section what it says here we go again just so that you guys can clearly see the message I don't really know what it says I know what the letters are but I don't know what they mean but anyways we didn't drop in our wall breakers no let's start dropping them over on this wall oh god okay I actually forgot about them that is unfortunate but anyways 40,000 gold 15,000 elixir and 18 dark elixir plus 31 trophies pretty happy with that amount of loot now let's collect the star bonus yet again let's also collect the loot from our treasury again and let's see if we can collect this gem box from the gem box basically the gems from the gem box there we go let's also remove a couple of more trunks and trees and then we're going to get ourselves into another attack i believe we have the exact same strategy and yes we do indeed and then after that it should be 25 wall beggars if i'm not mistaken and yes it is indeed so that's pretty awesome so let's get ourselves into another attack can we take out any more trees yes we can these are the final things within the base we can actually take down if anyone did see how many gems we got in total from the removing of the trees then be sure to let me know down below in the comment section how many we got but anyways we're gonna get ourselves into another attack right here so let's go ahead and find another base i can guarantee you we're gonna be coming across a weird base design like the previous one i just i can guarantee you that there is no way we're not coming across a weird base like that one again because 
with Otto Snow. I'm just coming across all of these AMG Need and Rush bases, and then some of those bases are just really weird. I've made a video on that before, so if you haven't watched that already, please be sure to go ahead and watch it because it was so so interesting. We came across so many weird base designs, and you guys really seem to have enjoyed it. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and actually find a base, and once I found a base, I will be right back with you guys to hopefully attack it and take it down. Okay, you know what, you guys? We are just going to go ahead and attack this base. It is a little weird, but not as weird as a base as I would have wished to find. But basically, we're just going to go ahead and fall for the troll. So this guy is definitely trying to troll people by making us spawn into the uh, hole right here. And we are going to fall for it because I just feel like falling for a trap. So we're just going to test out for any bombs which should already have been activated by any other enemy attackers. And we're going gonna to go in from the top of the base and we are actually going to drop in a heal spot and a raid spot and we're going to drop in all of our giants like so and also our bobs and then a couple of wall breakers actually all of our wall breakers already and then see if we can drop in the rest of our barbarians see how much damage they can actually do so it's really interesting that the giants and wall breakers are actually taking out a ton of walls and then the rest of our barbarians are doing a little bit but not enough damage so we're also going to drop in a lightning spot but where should we drop it i don't really know but i'm going to actually wait until the end see if we actually need to clutch the 50% or something like that gonna keep an eye on a couple of storages on a couple of uh, basically just structures which are on low health like this air defense I'm not quite sure if that's going to be enough from the lightning spot to take out the air defense but uh, it doesn't look like it doesn't look like we're gonna have to use it but that is absolutely fine I don't really care about the victory right here now we could try and take out the town hall we could have tried but sadly we forgot about it so we're gonna see just for a test if this lightning spot is actually gonna take out the air defense and it would have so if we were at a 49% or something this would have clutched the attack which would have been pretty interesting but we got a total of 40,000 of each which is decent I guess not really the greatest let's not lie here but we're also going to upgrade a couple of things so we have upgraded all of our collectors to the next level except of these ones over on the top of the base so we're going to go ahead and attack those attack those upgrade those there go the collectors up to the next level what else can we upgrade let's just check it out what about this spell factory that is a little too expensive but we can unlock two spells at once which is going to be really interesting for a different video now what else can we do can we upgrade anything we can't because we don't have enough elixir so it seems like that is going to be the end of the upgrades because we just don't have enough loot to upgrade anything else actually yes we do the elixir storages so let's do those there you go the elixir storages up to the next level which is pretty good so that being said you guys i think i'd like to end the video here so if you did enjoy this video then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up also let me know down below in the comment section what you'd like to see upgraded next within the next video of the engineer that base series now if you haven't already but you do enjoy my content then please be sure to subscribe to my channel for daily videos and with all that being said guys my name is of course sasha and i'll see you next time peace out